All right, we're going to explore Sora. And Sora is an ebook library that comes from the Lee County School District. Uh, to get there, we have to do a couple of things. You're in Launchpad, you're all signed in, you see your little picture right there. And the first place you're going to go to is Instructional Apps. Notice there's Follett, that's our school library catalog, but I don't see a Sora here. That's because Sora is going to replace OverDrive. And in case they haven't done it over the summer, we're going to just go ahead and click into OverDrive. A lot of you were used to using OverDrive. And when my OverDrive comes up, um, it's showing, because I get to read the high school level books and the adult level, it shows um, everything right over there um, that you could possibly want to get. But we want to go to that Sora, and here's how you can get there. You've opened up OverDrive, and if you just scroll down a little bit, you'll see these clouds, and it says, Open a World of Reading. In real small print, it says try Sora and try it in your browser. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to click in there and it comes up with um, Lee County Public Schools right there. And that's how you know that you are where you're supposed to be. Here's where you could quickly search for a book if you knew what you wanted. You just wanted to type something in. And these three little lines are your menu. So when we click right there, you'll see it says, um, my name already, and I can kind of um, change some of the settings. But if I click on that, here you go. This is the fun thing about this. Um, it puts your name, and you can change your icon. Maybe I'll be a ladybug right now. And it shows you your achievements. Now, I didn't really read that much from Sora, but it shows you you get little... Um, accolades and awards um, depending on you know how many books you have read and it'll, it'll get you to different levels. Now at the bottom right here it shows that I was reading Game Squad that's why it's it's right up there up front but th this is your home button so that'll bring me to where I have been reading the books that I have uh, checked out. Explore is where I could look for some new books. Shelf is again the books that I've had right there. And me brings me back to where we were at the beginning. It shows my achievements and how much I have read. So I'm going to go to Explore. And of course you could just type right in here if you knew exactly what kind of book you wanted. Um, you, you could type it in. Look, I have, I was searching for dogs. And it's going to show me everything right there. Uh, and it's not, I can refine it a little bit and I can go into advance. Um, you can, what you can do is you can just click right there where the little um, magnifying glass was and go into advanced search. And now this is where you could set different things. For instance, if you said, uh, I just want to read, I just want to read a funny book about dogs right there. And my ATOS level is going to be 4.0 to 5.0. And everything else looks good. Uh, maybe you want to make sure that it's available so we could check that one. And then you're going to search. Now, it didn't just show me dog books. It showed me everything in English, a funny book. That's what I said, a book that's available and 4.0 to 5.0. But I wanted to find something, a funny book about dogs. What do I do? I go right in there to where it says refine. And at the bottom, it says search with results. And now I could just type in dog. And then we'll go ahead. And now I have books. Look, I got stick dog right there and binocular. And I have a few things. Ooh. Galactic hot dogs. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with a stick dog chases pizza because I'm a little bit hungry. Now I'm going to hit borrow and I'm going to see what happens. Oh, it! I've reached my loan limits. I have to return another title before you can borrow this one. Some of you who were working with OverDrive notice that you couldn't check out as many books as you wanted. They are keeping us to a two books per day is the way I look at it, 
or no more than 14 books in a week. So if I want to see which books I have, I can go to my shelf and I can say, oh yeah, I have these, I have two AR books right there. Now I'm going to open this book just to see what it looks like. And I have my book up right over there. Um, I'm looking at the cover and if I want to go ahead and get to the next page, I can just go ahead and click. You kind of have to put your little hand close to where you see the edge of the text and then it works. And I could say, gosh, that looks awful small. So if I go up to my little menu, my three little lines, I could um, sort of change the setting. There, it gets a little bit bigger right over there. If I wanted to have high contrast, ooh, that's kind of fun. I can go right over there and you can sort of control where you are and it'll remember everything where you're at and then you just go up to close and it shows you sort of where you're at with your books so I'm gonna go to me it says I've opened two books right there thank you I've blasted off I've used it for the first time but I'm gonna be really kind and I'm going to return these books it'll tell me how many days I have left right over here so I'm going to hit return so that somebody else can have it. So that's an introduction to Sora.